Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave me your thoughts and comments down below. And without further ado, let's get started. So today's video is a super random one. I actually just got this package in the mail and I thought I would go ahead and just try out some of the products and kind of give you guys my first impressions and thoughts. So yeah, um, so on Sephora, this is what it looks like this is the matte version of them and i'll show you guys the actual product close up that way you're actually able to see but there are four matte shades of this bronzer that they came out with the first one is laguna and that is a warm brown there's also vallarta and that is a light tan they came out with samoa which is a deep golden brown and they also came out with karimba which is a deep red brown they did send me all four of these shades and here on Sephora they have 17 reviews and almost um, almost full stars with 11 and a half thousand loves. So that's for the bronzer ones. Other side, the ones that aren't matte, we have Laguna which is diffused brown with golden shimmer. That's just their iconic bronzer they've always had. I love Laguna. So I came out with a limited edition Sephora exclusive one and that is a Laguna diffused brown with golden shimmer which when you guys see that one close up when I pick them up you'll be able to see the difference. They also came out with Casino which is already once again one of their main bronzers. They only had two for the longest time Laguna and Casino. Casino is diffused deep brown with golden shimmer. They came out with Punta Cana and that's diffused rich mahogany brown with golden shimmer. And then lastly, they came out with San Juan. It's a diffused light brown with golden shimmer. And then as far as these bronzing powders go on the Sephora website, they have 104.2 thousand loves with almost five stars on almost 3,600 reviews. So that's really awesome. And then also in the collection, um, which you guys are seeing here, they came out with two of the lip oils. The lip oils are amazing. So they came out with two new lip oils. Love these lip oils. The first one they came out with is Reef, and Reef is described as a sheer mauve shimmer. And then they also came out with Laguna, which is stunning. I mean, they're both stunning, but Laguna is a shimmering bronze with gold pearl. The Afterglow lip balms. Once again, I have like every shade in these lip balms and I also even have a handful of the mini ones that came out with is a limited edition exclusive and it's in the shade Laguna. Once again, it's a shimmering bronze with gold shimmer. In this collection, they have four of them, which I'll go ahead and swatch for you guys. Two of them, they already first launched those in those two colors were Shockham, which I love this one. It's just a really pretty like topper to put on any eyeshadow or even if you just want to like pop a color in the crease and lay that on top. It's absolutely stunning. And then they also came out with this one, which is called Stricken. And once again, this Stricken one actually launched when they first released the six original shades. They also released this really pretty blue shade, which I actually um, don't have a name on it, but it's like a really pretty teal blue. And then this one is probably my favorite. Uh, this is the shade Castaway, and it reminds me of Shockham, just more cool tone, and it has like um, pink and white shimmer flecks going through I'm it. Watch every single bronzer because I'm only going to do the ones that I'm going to keep. Um, I feel like it's stupid to swatch all of them if I'm not going to keep them. But we're going to go ahead and do that. These are the non matte ones. This first one here is in the shade San Juan. It's so pretty. This is the packaging the Belt Laguna looks like. Again, this is just their classic bronzer. This one right at the top is Laguna, and the one underneath that is the first shade I did, which was San Juan. And you can definitely tell the difference. Laguna is a lot darker. The one I was talking about that is the limited edition jumbo one. This one is so beautiful. This one, once again, is Laguna. It just looks like this. Um, I did see on the Sephora website, everyone is saying this beautiful, like, 
gold shimmer that you see kind of ombreing down is an overspray so that does come off once again i'm not going to swatch this one though i've decided just because it's super pretty and i'm not going to use it yet so this is what this looks like also just for reference this one comes with 16 grams of product and is 45 dollars and then this regular laguna that looks like this comes with eight grams of product and i believe it's 35 dollars so for 13 dollars more you get double the amount of bronzer so this is definitely a great deal matte side of them there's a laguna matte which i am so excited for it's absolutely stunning and then we also have this one this is the by Arta. This is a gorgeous shade. I'm also going to be keeping this one because I'm going to be using that one a lot. And then these are the two darker shades. I actually also might keep this one. This one is Samoa. That's what it looks like. And then this one is the Karimba. And this one is very red, more for your deeper skin tones. I'm not going to be swatching this one. This top one again is Laguna and this bottom one is by Arta. And I'll kind of shift my hand so you're able to see. They're so pretty. Power Chrome Loose Pigments look like, like I said, they aren't very vibrant as far as the color goes. I know they look a lot more pigmented when you just see them in here, but really they're just a topper to an eyeshadow, which is beautiful if you want that, especially when we're going into like summer and you want more of like that beachy, natural, pretty look. So these are the four of them here. This one is that really pretty blue one. And then this one here that looks gold when I kind of tilt like a yellow gold is cast away. And then this brown one is stricken. And then this one is Shockham. I've worn Shockham a ton and I love it. But these are what those power chrome pigments look like. These are what the lip products look like. This is the lip balm. And then we have Reef in the Middle Lip Oil and Laguna Lip Oil. I'm gonna do one side with the Matte Viarda and then the other side with the Matte Laguna. So I'll go ahead and start in with Laguna and I'm gonna be taking this Fenty, wow, that was a lot of kick up, bronzing brush. I'll do the Laguna on this side. That's pretty. And then just to frame the face a bit. And then on the other side, this side of the face, I'm going to be going in with the Viarta and I'm going to be taking it just on a fluffy wet and wild brush. And we'll see. This one is a lot more cool tone, so we'll see. Okay. Yeah. This one's definitely a lot more cool toned, so I'll probably actually have to add some of the Laguna because this is giving me more of like that contour look, which I like, but I want to look more warm. This side is the Viarda, and then this side is the Laguna. Like I said, the Laguna is a lot more warm toned, so I'm going to go ahead just to make sure everything's even out and that you saw the difference. I'm going to take a little bit of Laguna and add it to the Viarda side. Just kind of stamp it around. And then vice versa, take a little bit of Viarda and just... Make sure it's all blended. So now that the bronzers are on, I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes. Um, for the eyes, I'm actually just gonna take the Laguna Matte Bronzer, pop it in my crease, and then I'll go in with a Power Chrome Pigment on top. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush. I do want this to just be like a really natural, bronzy makeup look. So I'm just going to do a light wash of this Laguna in the crease. Nothing too crazy, just to add a little bit more definition to the eye. 
like it is so pretty these are amazing and this is what it looks like on the finger and like that and we'll just go like so I wonder if you guys can see if I'm looking this way yeah matter if you get it like messy or whatever on the lid because you do want it to be more of like that beachy effortless look that is on the lid compared to the shock one that I've tried this one seems like it's a lot finer like glitter whereas the shock ones are really chunky glitter both are really pretty but the castaway one is definitely thinner shimmer and it's actually more like a pretty light wash of that color and it just looks gorgeous i would probably recommend this castaway one over the shaka one i know it looks kind of weird in the packaging because you're like a white one but it's so pretty and i'm just gonna blend it all together with my makeup everything looks so good i went ahead and put on the laguna lip oil i could put on a little more i guess um i just put it on over some lip liner and it looks so pretty and effortless like of a golden highlight to kind of make everything go and melt together and i'm obsessed i think them coming out with the matte bronzers are amazing and then expanding is also great um as far as the eye pigments i'm obsessed with them i love the lip oils just everything from this collection so far that i've tried and used is a hit so without further ado that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it like always don't forget to give it a thumbs up Leave me your thoughts and comments down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.